Hi everyone, let us discuss this example. In this example, we have to find the value of this integration. Integration over x, z square dz. They are given x is a curve with this parameterization. Okay, t belongs to close interval 0 comma pi. See, we can directly solve this problem, but here with the help of primi primitives or you can say antiderivatives, we are going to solve this problem. In our previous video, we have already seen that result. So that result, we are going to use it here. Okay. So uh, what is small f of z? Let me write here, small f of z. That means we have to find a uh, integration of this one. So our small f of z is z square. So let us find its primitive. Okay. So let me write primitive, primitive of small f, which is equal to be denoted by capital F of z. So what is meaning of primitive? You can simply say primitive is nothing but antiderivative or integration. What is integration of z square? It is z cube by 3. So in this way, we got capital F of z also. Okay. So let us go further. Let us consider that integration now. Consider integration over x z square dz. Okay. So integration over x z square that is nothing but our f of z so f of z dz so here i am going to use the result which we have already seen in our previous video so that result says so this is equal to capital f of x of b minus capital f of x of a so maybe you are thinking what is small a and small b okay small a small b that means this is the end points of interval what is the given interval 0 comma pi so our small a is 0 and our small b is pi so let us put there uh, these values here so f of x of pi minus f of x of 0 since our a is 0 right and our b is pi so this thing we have got so now we have to find the values of these two terms. We have to put those values here. So by subtracting, we will have the final answer. We cannot do all these things simultaneously. So what will I do? I'm calling it as equation number one. We will find their values separately. And at the end, we will put those values here. So let us start to work on f of x of pi. Okay. Let me write it here. So first of all, I will find x of pi x of pi that means at a place of t we have to put pi so what will we have here at a place of t i'm putting pi plus i at a place of t i'm putting pi pi square by pi so one pi will get cancelled right so this is equal to pi plus i pi pi you can take common so pi one plus i right okay so x of pi we have got so let us operate capital f on that so capital F of x of pi is equal to capital F of x of pi we have got here. So let us put it here pi 1 plus i. What is the definition of capital F? Its definition is z cube by 3. That means we have to take its cube and after that we have to divide it by 3. So let us do that. So let us take its cube. So pi cube 1 plus i cube divided by 3. So in this way we got the value of first term okay f of x of pi so let us start to work on f of x of 0 first of all we will find the value of x of 0 okay so now x of 0 what is the definition of x our definition of x of t is this one so at a place of t simply we have to put 0 if i put 0 here we will have 0 plus here also we have to put 0 so i here 0 square 0 into anything you will have 0 so x of 0 is 0 so now it is very easy to find f of x of 0 f of x of 0 right so this is f of x of 0 is 0 what is definition of capital f definition of capital f is z cube by 3 that means now we have to put z is equal to 0 here right so 0 cube is 0 by 3 that means 0 so this is equal to 0 cube by 3 which is 0 itself so in this way we got the value of f of x of pi and f of x of 0 so let us put those values in equation number 1 so let me write here then 1 becomes then 1 becomes let us see what will we have here 
1 becomes, let me write the integration over x, z square dz, we are finding its value. I am putting the values now, f of x of pi, what we have got? pi cube, 1 plus i cube by 3 minus, what is f of x of 0? It is 0. So, its value will be, let me write it here. So, it is pi cube by 3, 1 plus i bracket cube. So, if you want, you can expand this bracket using a plus b bracket cube formula or otherwise you can keep it as it is. That will be the final answer. Okay. So, make a screenshot of it. Then we will stop. Thank you. Bye-bye.